from one of my earlier videos on Audacity Audio Editor 220. The question, which was a genuine question, and I'll read it to you. I'm using 2.2, and every time I try to record, it starts the new recording at the end of the existing audio instead of creating a new layer. Now, I replied in text, including a photo, but I want to make this video as a look and see and do video. So I'm talking about Shift R. There is an image here which I'll share with you and then new track. And you can see that the way we're reading the text is ever so difficult to understand. And then there was uh, another user, Peter, who came along and said, who agreed with me, Shift R, and also goes to one of these advanced properties about preferences. Now, the way our human brain works is sometimes we need to see very, very often pictures. And we can do that for an example on the picture that I shared there. And that was looking at something where it says record is R and then record a new track is Shift R. So let's get started on that, shall we, and show you exactly what I mean. And so I'm just going to um, swap over, there we go, to Audacity. So let's start as if we know absolutely nothing, which some of the time is me anyway. So. I want to record something new, so here's the red button up here and I'm going to click it and just do a quick three count. One, two, three. And you can see that we've recorded something. If I was going to play it back... One, two, three. You also notice that I'm using a mono track just, just to make it uh, less screen space. Now, remember the other comment said that if I go and click the record button again, it just carries on. So let's see what happens. Three four, five, six. And so what we've got now if I click at the beginning is one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Okay, but it's, it's still on the same track, isn't it? So let's look at it this time and we hold our mouse button over the red button. It says record a new track, shift R. So I'm just going to click anywhere, should we say, and I'm going to look at my keypad and I'm going to go shift R. One, two, oh, there we go. three. We're back recording on a new track and everything. Three, four, five. Okay, so it was still playing back the, the top, wasn't it? But we've got the new track at the bottom. So let's do one step at a time. Did I record on there? What I can do is I can click mute on the top track and then go back to the beginning and play. Ah. Oh, there we go. We're back recording on a new track and everything. And so that's solved the question. So let's just go back and I'm just going to clear this and I'm going to start afresh um, one day in the history of time. Now I've just, uh, let me just click spacebar. One day in the history. Right, so that's done it. So let's go down to the advanced tip, which was preferences, and then recording. And you can clearly see at the bottom here, it says always record on a new track at the bottom. And I'm going to click it see what happens. Click OK. Something has happened, doesn't it, with uh, screen refresh. Let's see if it's done it. Now this time I'm going to hover over the top here and it still says Record R, Append Record Shift R. Is that wording changed? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to click thinking that it will start recording on a new track. One day Am in I the history of time. Track, then? I think I was, wasn't I? Let me just mute that. Mute that one. I'm going to do it one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. So that was it over and done with. And please pay attention just as a final, final thing to when we look at the top here where you have got record for R and new track shift R. Let me finish this video now. Thank you for watching and learning.